So we now move on to exercise 6.1 of the chapter sets. So let's see the first question. They're given the first one as A is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 till 8. B is given as 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. C is given as 0, 5, 10, 20. Okay. You need to find out first one is A union B. He also asks us to find out the cardinal value of the same. So we'll first of all, take out A union B. All the values of A and all the values of B. So it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I'll continue here only, 7, 8, 9, 11. So that gives you NA union B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's 11 numbers. Right? You're doing 9, yeah. <clears throat> the second one is... They ask us to find out A union C. So that will be all the values of this and this. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is not there, 10 and 20. So that brings out to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So N A union C is equal to 11 also. It's B union C. Third one is B union C. That will be, we start with 0, then it's 3, then 5, then 7, 9, 10, 11, 20. So that's N B union C is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Fourth one. Sorry, yeah, first, second, third, fourth one is A intersection B. That will be whatever is common between the two. <clears throat> so 3 is common, <clears throat> 3 is common, 5 is common, 7 is common. So it is 3, 5, 7. So N A intersection B is equal to 3. Cardinal number 3, cardinal number 8, cardinal number 11. Right, and this next is A intersection C, so that is common between the two is 0, 5. That's only two numbers common between the two, so that is N A intersection C is equal to 2. Finally, sixth one is B intersection C, B intersection C will be 0 is common between the two, 5 is common between the two, so 0 and 5 again, so that is N. B intersection C is equal to 2. So these are the answers for your first question. Right? We move on to question number 3. Okay, before that we can do one thing because there are multiple questions in question number 2. Let us take some 3 sums from those. 1, 3, 5. So let's take it, question 2, first one. Find A dash if A is equal to 0, 1, 4, 7 and your universal set is whole numbers which are x is less than or equal to 10. So that will be from 0, 1, 2 up to 10. So accordingly, A dash will be equal to 2 is not there, 3, 4 is here, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10. Understood? We are the 
third sum we have got a as boys of class 8 in bangalore school and students of class 8 in all schools of bangalore so you have got a as boys of class 8 and universal set is the students of class 8 so a dash will be automatically students contains boys and girls if boys is class A, then A dash will be girls. So girls of class 8 in the school of Bangalore. Let's see the fifth one. Odd natural numbers and whole numbers. So A is equals to odd natural numbers. Universal set is natural numbers. So A dash will be obviously even numbers, even natural numbers. Understood? So these are whole numbers, sorry, this was whole numbers. Now because the whole numbers, so it will not be just even numbers. So it will be this way, zero and even natural numbers. So all the even natural numbers plus zero okay so that will be the answer for six first one i said six point one of second car yeah so the or you can even convert this this way because zero is included in the whole numbers so we take it as even whole numbers easier to understand and write these are natural numbers, natural number does not have zero, but these are whole numbers, it has zero. So complement will be even whole numbers, where zero automatically gets included. We see question number three now. Question number three, we have got A. You can see they are given it in a set builder form that it is x such that x belongs to n. This sign is belong. This sign is means belongs to. Okay. So x belongs to n means it is belonging to natural numbers. You always remember this. Eh? N stands for natural numbers. W stands for whole numbers. I or Z stands for integers and R stands for real numbers okay this is when you are writing it this form so N indicates natural numbers means 1 to infinity 0 not included okay so we have got natural numbers and you have got the value as 3 is less than X x is less than 7 so that means a will be equal to now because it is less than 3 that means 3 is not going to be considered 4 5 6 will be there 7 is not considered because x is less than 7 so it will be only 5 4 5 and 6 you are given b is a set of such that x belongs to whole number and x is less than equal to 4 so that means b will be equal to 0 1 2 3 4 we need to now write the answers the first one is a union b a union b will be we start with 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 all the values of this and value of this without repetitions a intersection b will be only 4 because 4 is the only digit which is repeated third a minus b a minus b i told you all the values of a 
minus this one. So 4 will not be there. 5 and 6 will be the answer. Fourth one is B minus A. That's B minus A is 0, 1, 2, 3 because 4 is repeated here. So that's why B minus A will be 0, 1, 2, 3 as the answer. Got it? This was sum number 3. We now move on to sum number 5. <clears throat> sum number 5. Letters of the word integrity. Okay, so first one A is equal to Letter the word integrity, so we will be writing over here as I, N, T, E, G, R, I repeated, not coming, T will not be repeated, and Y. So this is I, N, T, E, G, R, Y, integrity. B is reckoning, so reckoning will be R, E, C, K, O, N, and ing so i will be there n is repeated ng so this is going to be b now you are going to write down over your a union b so a union b will be i n t e g r y r is not here r is here yes r is here e is here c is not here K is not here, O is not here, N is there, I is there, and G is there. So that's it. A. Now we can. We will be requiring the cardinal number also because of the verification next cases. So N A union B is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that is 10. Over here, N A is nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And N B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is what we will require later on. That's why I am just writing it in advance. And A intersection B will be whatever is common up till now. So we saw that R was common. E was there. C was not there. K was not there. And then O was not there. N is, sorry. 1 is common, we are writing that. So R is there, E is there, this is not there, not there, O is not there, N is going to be there, I is going to be there, and G is going to be there. So that's going to be N A intersection B is equal to 5. That says A minus B. So A minus B will be all the values of this, this, minus this. So these are the things which are going to remove. So first one, I will get removed. N will get removed, T is going to retain, E is going to get removed, G is going to be removed, R is going to remove, and Y is going to remove. Y is going to be retained. So that's A minus B is equal to N A minus B is equal to 2. B minus A. That will be we start looking at this. R removed, E removed, C there, K there, O there. So C there, K is there, O is there. N removed, I removed, G removed. So that's the three over here. So N A B minus A will be equal to three. Okay, these are the different things what we need to find out. We found it out. Now they have given us to do verification of certain laws. So we had written certain formulas earlier. So now we are going to verify those formula one by one. That is the four formulas which are there. So first one is the formula as N A union B is equals to N A plus N B minus N A intersection B. We are trying to prove this thing. So here we see the LHS or we can take just RHS now or we can say first LHS is equals to NA in 
sorry, union B is equals to A union B was 10. Now RHS is going to be NA plus NB minus NA intersection B. NA is 7 plus 8 minus intersection was 5. So that is 15 minus 5 is 10. So it's equals to 10. Therefore LHS is equals to RHS hence proved. We see the next one. N A minus B is equals to N A union B minus N B is equals to N A minus N A intersection B. So we got LHS is equals to N A minus B is equals to N A minus B is 2. The middle term, middle side or middle, we can just write middle. N A union B minus N B. N A union B is 10 minus N B is 8 is equal to 2 right RHS is NA minus NA intersection B NA is 7 minus A intersection B is 5 so it's equal to 2 therefore this is 2 this is 2 and this is 2 you can say LHS is equal to middle is equal to RHS hence Blue. Okay. You see the next one. C. N B minus A is equals to N A union B minus N A is equals to N B minus N A intersection B right so again LHS N A B minus A is equal to we know B minus A is 3 so put it as 3 middle N A union B minus N A is equal to A union B is 10 minus n a is 7 is equals to 3 rhs is equals to n b minus n a intersection b n b is 8 a intersection b is 5 is equals to 3 therefore lhs is equals to middle is equals to rhs hence proof Clear? We come to the last one which I can use at this line. That is N A union B is equals to N A minus B plus N B minus A plus N A intersection B. So LHS is NA NA union B is equal to 10 A union B yeah 10 RHS NA minus B plus N B minus A plus N A intersection B A minus B is 2 this is 3, so this 2 plus 3 plus A intersection B5 is equal to 10, hence LHS is equal to RHS, hence proof.
Did you understand this? This was how you are proving the proofs based on the theorem. So the equation was already given to you. You are just placing the cardinal numbers, what we have got. So we had, these are the important things over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. These values, we had placed it in each and every question. So it was just placing the values. So it is NA union B was 10. So here we put NA union B as 10. NA was 7. So NA was 7. And B was 8, so and B is 8 over here. And A intersection B, and A intersection is 5, so put 5 over here. We are just doing the operation. 7 plus 8 is 15, 15 minus 5 is 10. So you can see this is 10 and this is 10. Hence, LHS equals to RHS. Hence, we have proved this thing. Similarly, we have got three things. This, this and this. That's why we took LHS, middle term and RHS. A minus B, we got A minus B as 2, so we took the value as 2. We just found out whether the middle term, middle term A union B was 10 and, and B was 8, 10 and 8. So minus subtracting, subtracting we get 2. RHS is N A, N A is 7 and A intersection B is 5, so 7 minus 5 is 2. So we get that this value is 2, this value is 2, this value is 2. So this LHS, middle term and all are same, hence proved. We saw the next one, B minus A is NA union B minus NA and B minus N intersection A, B. So there is NB minus A is 3. We found out that NB minus A is 3. Accordingly, this was 10 minus 7 it is also 3. So this is 3, this is 3 and this is also 3. So all these 3 are same and proved. The final one was NA union B is equal to NB minus N, B min A minus B, B minus A and A intersection B. B minus A was given as 2, B min A minus B is 2, B minus A is 3, and this is 5. So the total is 10, and A union B is also 10, hence LHS equals to RHS, hence proved. So this was question number 5. Okay, we move on now to question number 7, or just check up the time. Yeah, we can continue with this question number seven. My well, little better stop here because it's a quite a big question. So I don't want you to exceed that bit. Plus we have a test on uh, Saturday, Sunday. So it's better that you can prepare for that. So I'll not exceed further. I'll stop over here. We'll continue with this exercise and the Venn diagrams in the next match session.